<laughs> Welcome back to Listen Lewis. Hello and welcome back to Ask Lewis. Ask Lewis. Look like Ask Lewis. <laughs> Ask Lewis is the segment on our show where viewers like you write in letters, uh, questions for Lewis to answer, and then we answer them here uh, on the show. So let's get going. First letter is from uh, Molly from New York City. Lewis, Molly asks, what's your favorite Star Wars character? Darth Vader. Darth Vader. All right. Next question. Will from Burlington, Vermont. Lewis, what's your favorite rock or gem? Um. All of the gemmies. All of the gems? Do you have a specific one? Yeah. The... Blue gems. The blue gems? Okay. Blue gems. There you go, Will from Burlington. Okay. Oh, look, our first international writer. We have Ashley from all the way across the pond in London, England. Lewis. This question. Okay, it says, Lewis, do watches TikTok? Who watches TikTok? Do the question is, or the question is, how do watches TikTok? So, so you put them on, so, so there's a little, there's two of them, so tick tock, tick tock, and it moves. There you go, Ashley. <laughs> okay, next question. Bentley from Omaha, Nebraska. Lewis, do you like the YouTube show, We Build It, We Break It? Uh, yes. Very cool. Do you, do you watch it a lot? Yeah. What do you like most about it? They break it, we build it. That's the, the, the thing. I you... like when they destroy it. Like okay. when they make that monster and they got the eye. So on, on We Build It, We Break It, you're leaning more towards the We Break It part of the show. That you like the most. Yeah, and then it's like, okay. and then it's like, okay. Last question comes to us. Wyatt from Kalamazoo, Michigan, asks you, Lewis, if you were stranded on a desert island and could only have one toy, what would it be? Um, let's see, hundred. No, you could only have one toy. Which toy would it be? Lego. Legos? Yeah. No, no, I Good choice. Because you've got endless it. possibilities with that. Okay. I already, I already again. Hey. <laughs> All right, that's it for Ask Lewis. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. We're cooking up some supper here. We got that blue box because we got those blue box blues. Watching a little Diary of a Wimpy Kid. A classic. What do you think of Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Good. All right, well, we got OJ, some purple stuff, soda. Oh, Sunny D. Mm, yummy. Yummy. Sunny D, Sunny D, Sunny D. Yeah. You want to listen to a point? A point! Let's do it! Alright, so I've seen on a couple different YouTube shows and like experiment things where they put soap in a microwave. Soap, soap. That's called soap and if... Wait, you don't know that? Do we 
doing it right now. You can see it's doing it right now. Yay. Let's get up. It really smells a lot like soap right now. Check it out. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and there. <laughs> okay, so that was a fun experiment. Uh, as you can see, here's our finished product of one bar of ivory soap in the microwave. It wasn't in there for that long, a minute or two, and we ended up with this. So what we learned was because uh, ivory soap, specifically ivory soap, has a lot of air bubbles in it. And so when you put it in the microwave... And it, this feels like random. It's like, ah, oh, I'm about <laughs> Those air bubbles heat up and then expand and you get this uh, foamy, cloudy, dry stuff that breaks apart. Mm. Okay? So with that, with this bar of soap being full of air bubbles, now that we know that, it should float. And there you go. The bar of soap floats. Other bar of soaps that are on ivory do not float. That was a fun experiment. I am making a huge mess. <laughs> I am putting trash everywhere. <laughs> well, that's a lot. Thanks for watching, Listen Lewis. If you don't got it, get it. Because we got this.